Safari Foams, Camo Ones, and Thunder Sixes. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Welcome to the show, and remember last week when I was saying that the printed foams were starting to grow on me? Well, I'm now having second thoughts about that decision, but you can make your own decision with these shots of the Safari Foam Posit. As you can see, the Safari print is all over the foam and orange is used as an accent color on the liner and the logo. For those looking to grab a pair, there is unfortunately still no release date for these, but definitely stay close and I'll update you as soon as I find out more. The KD6 has been making a ton of waves lately and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Over at Soul Awesome, the model was spotted in the OKC Thunder Away colors, which consist of royal, orange, and black. Silver is used for the swoosh and orange returns for the laces to give it just a little bit of pop. Now I imagine KD will actually be rocking these during the season. However, as of now, there is no information regarding a general release. Adidas Hoops is keeping its big man laced up, meaning Dwight Howard, and the new signature shoe, the D. Howard 4, was just unveiled today. Rocking the yellow, gold, and blue colorway, the model has been dipped in the lakes of the Crazy Quick and features a similar outsole and midsole shape on the lateral side. From what I've been told, this is the first of three colorways that will be dropping on November 1st, and that there will be two additional colorways dropping in December. I have yet to get my feet in a pair of HyperDug 2013s, however, I have heard nothing but good things so far. For the latest colorway, Nike Basketball is grown with a light armory blue that contrasts with Team Orange on the outsole, liner, and heel cup. Of course, there is plenty of lunar in there to keep you cushioned up and the dynamic fly wire to keep you locked down. Look for this colorway of the HyperDug 2013 to hit select retailers, including Nita, this weekend. Nike ID has been in full beast mode this summer, and the latest option that they're offering is the Real Tree Camel print on the Nike Air Force One. Now, the news of this option actually hit the web last week, but the option just became official today. Note that this option is considered a premium upgrade, and there are boot, nylon, and canvas options as well. Nike has included three different prints from Real Tree, and the pricing is going to be $190. And for the sneakerhead of the day, I'm going with Kicks, Chicks, and Sports. You can follow on Instagram right here. Has lots of J's in this collection, but that's not all, as you can tell by this Adidas KG All-Star, which I believe is from 2007. So shout out to him for having those in this collection. Now, if you want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is Cousteau, and use the hashtag WearYourKicks. Well, that's going to do it for the show today. And as always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something new is happening here on this channel. Also, visit the links down in the description to give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. Click over there somewhere for something random, and I will see you soon. Peace.